The Wi-Fi setup page allows the user to enable or disable Wi-Fi communications as well as configure and connect to most Wi-Fi networks. To connect to a Wi-Fi network, you must first ensure that the Wi-Fi feature is enabled. If it's disabled, click the Enable Wi-Fi button. Once the Wi-Fi feature is enabled, you have the ability to connect to a wireless network that's broadcasting its network name or SSID, or manually connect to a network by entering an SSID. To connect to a wireless network that's broadcasting its SSID, pull down the list of available networks found and select a network in the list. Once you've selected the wireless network, click the Connect button. If the wireless network has security enabled, the security setup screen will be displayed. The instrument will automatically detect the security type of the Wi-Fi network. If a security key is required, press the security key box. And then enter the security key for your wireless network and press OK. Then press Exit. When the wireless network is properly configured, its name will appear in the Connected To window. To confirm that the instrument is properly configured to the wireless network, press the Exit button, and then press the Network Status icon at the top right of the screen. Scroll down the list and look for the Wi-Fi communication status and look for the Wi-Fi IP address. If a valid IP address is shown, then the instrument is properly configured for the Wi-Fi network. If you see an IP address of 0.0.0.0, then an error may have occurred and try your configuration again. To manually connect to a network or to configure an ad hoc network, press the Connect Manually button. Enter the network name, security type, encryption, and security key, then press Exit. An ad hoc network is a network without an infrastructure when two devices communicate directly together. To configure the instrument for an ad hoc network, touch the ad hoc button. Once the ad hoc network feature is enabled, click the network button and then enter a name for the ad hoc network. The ad hoc network name could be a random name of your choosing. Once it's entered, press OK and then press Exit. Press Exit again for your changes to take effect. The Dranitz HTPQ instrument will now broadcast a network SSID for your tablet, smartphone, computer, or other device to connect to. For more information about the Dranitz HTPQ family of products or any other Dranitz product, please visit our website www.dranitz.com or email us at sales at or call 732-287-3680.